Why does my life suck? And does it have to? I'm Malin, and I've gone through a lot of periods in my life where my life has just sucked, and it's felt like, you know, just the world is just against you, and that life isn't really worth living, there's nothing really enjoyable in it, and I'm lucky enough to have experienced the opposite end, where I have had some periods in my life where I've felt some sense of purpose, some sense of energy and excitement for the day. And even though I've experienced that, I still find myself at times falling back into these dark kind of moments, these dark kind of thoughts. And you know, dark days, hard days come by and that's kind of normal. But why, why does life suck? Why, why does it suck? And what I've recently noticed is that when my life sucks, when it's going worse, it's usually because I'm having a bad day, I'm not feeling as good as I normally do. And then I kind of just coast along. I don't do the habits that I've built up. I don't do anything that kind of brings me forward or brings me, you know, makes me kind of feel like I've achieved something with my day or that I've done something. And a part of that is due to a lack of clarity, not having a clear plan. And another part of that is just chasing what's easy and what's pleasurable and trying to get from the world. You know, just try to feel as good as possible, basically and just ignore whatever ne negative things I'm feeling. And although this is, this is like valid, this is a valid kind of coping me mechanism that we have, you know, when we're not feeling great, um, we want something to kind of fix that. So, and in my life, in my past, that's kind of how I've dealt with it, you know, through diving into a video game, through diving into movies, a TV show, you know, food, adult content and that sort of stuff as well. And, that was how I taught myself to deal with it, even though it wasn't really, it's not a long term, long lasting kind of effect. And if you're kind of living like a hedonist, you know, someone that's chasing pleasure, then you're not really gonna feel satisfied. You're gonna have this underlying kind of shame and it's just gonna beget the cycle and you're gonna be like repeating the same mistakes. And I've spent years of my life like this and I've had to pull myself out of it quite a few times and I think to do that, first off, you just have to realize that emotions and these thoughts pop up. You know, sometimes they don't feel great, sometimes it's really difficult to kind of deal with and that's okay, like we should kind of explore that because they're just signals, you know, we don't have to give in to them, we don't have to react to these emotions and thoughts. I find myself whenever I feel bad, it's like, I have to get rid of this, I have to do something about this, I have to do something to change it and that's just like a reaction it's not responding to it it's not trying to understand it like oh why why am i feeling this and it could just be you know maybe it's not for a particular reason or maybe it's because i'm not really feeling like i have much control in my life you know i'm kind of trying to do these things but i don't really have nothing tangible this like this cloudy kind of i'm doing this i'm kind of doing that and Something that's helped me to get out of my recent kind of slump was to just realize, you know, what's kind of holding me back? What do I kind of want? What do I want, you know? Or what do I want to want, you know? Because sometimes we don't want to change. We don't want to do the hard work that will get us more money, that will get us more attraction, that will benefit, benefit us in the long run. But we do want to want those things. And I think an important thing for everyone, but especially for me that I've kind of learned is to find and be critical of the things that I like and that I want and trusting myself in that and kind of taking the steps to do that. So what helped me was to plan out. So at the moment I've moved back and I've kind of just been coasting along, you know, living with my mum, working a little bit, kind of figuring out what I'm going to do next. I thought, you know, YouTube's going to have a part of it and there's all these kind of other things that I have kind of ideas about but it's really important to go into that and to dive into that and just start getting, gaining experience you know like me committing to making these videos and actually doing them and kind of finding out along the way rather than waiting for this perfect plan you know that's just going to fit me perfectly I have to just have this mindset like okay I just have to show up and do the actions and then 
I'll kind of iterate on the plan and go along as I go. And so for me, I realized that I needed to set the goal of when I was going to move out, how much money I'm going to need to move out, and what my next steps are going to be. And so basically, I've just set myself a deadline. I want to be out. I want to move here. These are the things that I want to do. This is why I want to move out. Um, this is how much it's going to cost. You know, and I kind of scouted out the area, you know, like where could I live? Where would be affordable? Um, and there's going to be sacrifice in that, you know. But I can think, I can put the frame of mind that this sacrifice is going to suck, you know, like, oh, I'm going to have to work a job that's going to suck. It's going to be people that's going to bring me down. There's going to be customers that are kind of, you know, complaining and telling me what to do. And, you know, it's just going to be not really enjoyable. It's not what, how I want to spend my time. Or I could do, do this frame like, okay, I've had experience doing this kind of thing, making coffees and dealing with customer service and that sort of thing. I can handle it. I know I can. I can also practice my social skills. You know, I can practice talking to people, you know, my small kind of talk and getting more comfortable with that. I can also see this as as what I need to do to get what I want, you know. It's kind of like a sacrifice. And it's not great to think of things as a means to an end, but sometimes you kind of have to if that's what's necessary, you know, because I can't just make these videos and then suddenly I'll have like, you know, be making enough to live off of this or selling my paintings and earning enough to live off of it. You know, that has to be built up, that has to be, you know, that can't just happen just like that, you know? It's kind of something that you have to kind of iterate and work on. And I think that's another thing is just finding these things, just committing to something, just saying, all right, I've been chasing kind of this pleasurable kind of path. It hasn't really helped me out in the, in the past. I've tried all these things, so is me is other things that's what's wrong or is it me that's wrong and the answer might be some of those things weren't right for you or maybe your mindset wasn't great for them and so we can kind of deal with them better or make it easier if we see things in a different way just lost a train of thought I think that's I think that's all I need to say you know why does my life have to suck and it doesn't have to you know it could be better if you kind of accept that life is going to be hard at times and you kind of commit to this process of check doing something becoming sufficient at it sticking to it over a long term and looking at it objectively, not reacting, not feeling these things and all these thoughts and stuff that get in the way, but kind of just seeing objectively like, oh, how do I deal in this situation? Why do I respond like that? Why am I having these thoughts and feelings? Are they helpful to me or not? And then through that, you kind of learn and you iterate and you realize, oh, well, maybe it's not what they were telling me that was wrong, that I, but I was getting offended because you know, for example, for me, I was getting offended by other people sometimes when they would correct me or tell me what to do. And that was because I wanted to do things right, but I had this kind of insecurity with people kind of giving me feedback, telling me what to do. And although I don't, I still don't really like it when people like tell me straight up, you need to do this, you need to do this instead of that. It's kind of like I'm a perfectionist. I'm like, oh, okay, I kind of know what to do but they're just giving me feedback, you know, they're just telling me kind of, oh, this is what I want. And a part of me felt, you know, a bit of friction towards that because I wasn't confident in asserting myself in those situations saying, oh, this is what I want because I didn't have a enough confidence in myself. And <laughs> I know this has kind of gone off topic and kind of turned into a rant, but I'll try and bring it back. You know, through these experiences, we kind of learn about ourselves and we learn about life and you know all we can control is our body and our actions you know and we can just notice our reactions and our emotions rather than you know just also always 
um, reacting to them and just kind of getting into these, getting up, digging ourselves into these holes, you know, because it can be quite daunting to try and find the perfect thing, you know, the perfect partner, the perfect career, you know, there's going to be a space where it just fits and everything's going to be enjoyable and I'm just going to enjoy my life and it's going to be great and it's all just going to flow so perfectly, you know. I used to wish it was like that, but when I think back to the things that I'm proud of or things that have made me happier, you know, like building muscle, that kind of sucked, you know, committing to going to the gym or committing to working out and just pushing myself close to failure, eating right, eating healthy, it kind of is hard, but if you do it anyway, regardless of what your thoughts and feelings are kind of telling you like, oh, maybe we should do this, you know, maybe be nice to kind of chase this pleasurable thing. There's actually satisfaction in doing the hard things because then you've earned it, you know, you've experienced some pain and it makes the pleasure that you get from that so much more better. And that's why we kind of have people like David Goggins and that sort of thing who just go, 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 you know, chase this pain because it's so satisfying once you sacrifice so much for something and then you get returns for it and of course it's i'm not telling you to be silly and just like go sacrifice yourself and like sleep like a couple hours a day and just work out like all day you know you kind of got to be realistic with it so that was kind of a rant on how why does my life suck you know and does it have to be this way could it be better I believe it can be because I've experienced that in the past and it's hard to see that when you're in the darkest times but you know you just got to try and get through it and just take these steps towards gaining more clarity and action in your life so then you don't feel so lost and so kind of meaningless and just floating everywhere so thank you for watching if you did and I'll see you in the next video